Hello, this is Alan Gilbert, Transportation Technical Specialist with Autodesk. And this is part two of my grid to ground transformation series. And in this particular video, we're going to take a look at the implications of the transformations with respect to the survey database. Part one, we took a look at uh, specifics to Kogo points. So there will be overlap here because we're going to build Kogo points from the uh, survey database. So just to as a, or just as a reminder here, we have um, a surface in the drawing. This uh, surface was built from a ground system. The ground system was based off of a scalar off a project monument. And that monument was set so it matched the state plane grid. So this is a pseudo state plane where it's uh, ground distances scaled off a point. So the surface data and these points to the north here along the corridor, which were the center line of the corridor, are in gram. The points below are the points from part one that I corrected. I exported out and brought back in as grid points. And so these should be in uh, state plane in the right spot relative to the state plane coordinate system of the drawing. And I verified this by overlaying an image in the area just so you could see that uh, indeed these points do lay right on the center line of the road and the image had its own UTM coordinate system uh, which overlaid the state plane of the file. So what we're going to do now is take a look here under my settings, edit drawing settings. My transformation is t currently turned on and remember from part one uh, it doesn't change any data necessarily when you bring in Cocoa points it just computes that grid northern grid easting column within the point properties. Survey data a little more dangerous. Let's take a look why. I'm going to leave it on. I'm going to go to survey data and I have a survey database with the same coordinate system as the file state plane and I've just got a bunch of the same points in this area. In other words the same corridor center line shots I'm going to import those in and they were shot in ground. Remember when I first brought them in they were here to the north then I corrected them, computed the grid or the state plane values of those about that scalar point and move them down to the correct spot. So let's see where these will come in. Their ground, should they come in here? Will they be in the right spot in grid? What's going to happen? Well I've already imported into the survey database and nothing happened. The coordinates match the points, the ground points exactly. So nothing there, but let's insert into the drawing now. Okay, we'll zoom back up to the area we're working. And notice now we have another set of points to the north of the original ground. And if I compare three points, notice here's my new points. I can click on it to verify. You can see the point number and name. So it almost looks like it's the inverse scale when we went from ground here to grid. This almost looks like it's scaling the other way. Okay, so you can see it's north and west of the original ground point we brought in. So why did this happen? Well I'm going to go to the point edit just to right click on one of these points and hit edit and explain what happened. So the survey database comes in from the point list and it's fine. The transformation doesn't do anything to it. But as soon as you insert those uh, points into the drawing as, and with the transformation settings turned on it's going to put the coordinate in the grid northern grid easting field because there's no such thing as grid northern grid easting over in the survey database so that coordinate comes here since transformation settings were turned on it scaled this grid back to what it thinks is a ground you see the coordinates are different and remember civil 3d displays the point based on the easting northern field not the grid these are computed fields but survey database comes into the grid northing when it's or maps into the grid northing grid eastern columns so if I do not have transformation settings turned on it doesn't matter they'll be the same and I can just continue to work and uh, or use my workflow from part one so this is a problem right these were scaled the wrong way they were scaled to ground and uh, by the inverse of my grid factor back to ground but they were already ground so now they're definitely in the wrong spot so the moral to this story is in general 
uh, when working with a survey database we recommend that you go to your drawing settings even though you're going to use this later and leave it off until you have all your points in the drawing in the right spot then if you need to uh, use our workflow from part one of this series and transform those to grid or vice versa then you can do so thanks and have a nice day